BTS, also known as the Bangtan Boys, is a South Korean boy band that has taken the world by storm. The group quickly rose to fame with their unique blend of music, dance, and powerful messages of self-love and empowerment. But BTS is more than just a band, they've become a global phenomenon, with millions of fans across the world known as the ARMY. This documentary will take you on a journey to understand the rise of BTS and the impact they've had on music, pop culture, and their fans. From their humble beginnings in South Korea to their world tours and record-breaking achievements, you'll learn about the members, the music, and the movement that is BTS. Can Music Award goes to... Music Award goes to... A BTS! This is The History, Life and Career of BTS. Once upon a time, there was a group of young men from South Korea who had a dream to become musicians. They were determined to break free from the stereotypes and expectations that were placed upon them, just like bullets that were aimed at them. So, they named themselves BTS, which stands for the Korean phrase Bangtan Sonyeondan, which translates to Bulletproof Boy Scouts. As they began to gain popularity, they realized that their music and message could reach even further. They wanted to share their message of growth, not just as young boys, but as adults who were ready to face the world head-on. So, they announced that their name would also stand for Beyond the Scene as part of their new brand identity. This extended the meaning of their name to encompass the idea of growth from a boy to an adult who opens the doors that are facing forward. And so, BTS continued to make music and inspire their fans with their message of self-empowerment and breaking free from expectations. They are known as Bowden Shonenden in Japan, but to their fans all over the world, they are simply BTS, the bulletproof Boy Scouts who have grown beyond the scene. In the bustling city of Seoul, a young underground rapper named Kim Namjoon was making waves in the local music scene. His unique style and talent caught the attention of Big Hit Entertainment, a rising music label looking to create something fresh and exciting. Initially, the plan was to form a hip-hop group centered around Kim Namjoon, but the label's executives had a different idea. They believed that a group of individual, free-thinking members would be more marketable and would resonate with a wider audience. Additions were held in 2010, with a diverse group of young men vying for a spot in the upcoming group. They lived together and worked tirelessly, practicing up to 15 hours a day to perfect their skills. Finally, the big day arrived. BTS, as they were now known, nervously took to the stage in front of a small crowd of industry insiders. But their hard work and dedication paid off, and their performance was met with enthusiastic applause. Little did they know that this was just the beginning of an incredible journey, filled with passion, hard work, and global success. In the bustling world of K-pop, three dominant agencies held a tight grip on the industry. But one label dared to be different. Big Hit Entertainment saw potential in a group of young men who didn't fit the typical K-pop mold. They wanted to create a group that could express their individuality and have a say in their music. Thus, BTS was born. They released their debut single album, Too Cool For School, and lead single No More Dream. The album didn't exactly fly off the shelves, but it made a statement. The single tackled the anxiety that many young people face under the weight of high parental expectations, causing shockwaves throughout the K-pop scene. BTS was unlike anything people had seen before. They had a point of view, and they weren't afraid to take on taboo topics in South Korean society and beyond. Despite initial sales, the album reached the top five on South Korea's Jane music chart. Too Cool for School's old-school hip-hop sound from the 90s caught the attention of music reviewers and viewers alike. And as BTS made appearances on Korean music shows, their star began to rise. They were a breath of fresh air, a group that dared to challenge the status quo and pave their own path. BTS was on a roll, and their music was resonating with audiences around the world.
They released the second entry in their school trilogy, Oh Are You Late Too? Accompanied by the single No. The album explored the pressures and sacrifices that students face, a theme that was all too relatable for many of BTS's fans. Their rebellion against the establishment continued, and they continued to tap into the frustrations of Korean teenagers with the country's educational system. Their music struck a chord with young people in North America and Europe, and their fan base continued to grow. But BTS wasn't just about the music, they had a sense of humor, too. That same month, they starred in their own variety show, SBS MTV's Rookie King Channel Bangtan. In the show, they parroted popular programs like VJ Special Forces and MasterChef Korea, showcasing their versatility and creativity. Their hard work and talent paid off, and at the end of the year, BTS was recognized with several new Artist of the Year awards in South Korea. It was clear that they were on the rise, and nothing was going to stop them. The School Love Affair EP, the final installment in BTS School Trilogy, was released. The album immediately hit the top of the charts in South Korea, and even appeared on Billboard's World Albums chart for the first time. The EP featured two singles, Boy in Love and Just One Day, which further showcased the group's unique blend of hip-hop and pop. Shortly after the album's release, BTS held their first fan meeting in Seoul, where they christened their fan club with the name ARMY. That summer, BTS made their debut in the United States with a concert in West Hollywood, followed by an appearance at KCON in Los Angeles. <laughs> BTS released their album Dark and Wild, which reached number two in South Korea. The album's two singles, Danger and War of Hormone, continued to showcase the band's eclectic sound and style. The band then embarked on their first concert tour, which took them across South Korea and beyond. The group launched their first Japanese studio album, Wake Up. In 2015, BTS held their first Japan tour after the album's release. Their tour resumed in Malaysia, which saw the group perform across Australia, North America, and Latin America, before concluding in Hong Kong. The entire tour was a resounding success, drawing 80,000 spectators in 18 cities across 13 countries. BTS broke away from their hip-hop roots in the most beautiful moment in life, part one, experimenting with other music genres to capture the essence of youth's beauty and anxiety. They began a trilogy of albums that aimed to portray the struggles of young people. The lead single, I Need You, was a chart-topping hit in South Korea and brought the group a win on SBS MTV's The Show. Meanwhile, the second single Dope soared to number three on Billboard's World Digital Song Sales Chart, and its music video was viewed over 100 million times on YouTube. BTS kicked off a world tour extension of their Red Bullet Tour, visiting several cities throughout Asia, Oceania, North America, and Latin America. The release of For You, in Japanese, along with Japanese versions of War of Hormone and Let Me Know, immediately topped Oricon's daily chart. BTS embarked on their third concert tour, 2015 BTS Live the Most Beautiful Moment in Life, on stage, which began with three sold-out shows in Seoul and extended to Japan. The EP's themes centered around the more serious and speculative aspects of youth, such as the pursuit of success, loneliness, affection for one's origins, and the suffering of the younger generation due to unfavorable conditions in society. The album was a huge success, topping the weekly JN album and Billboard World Albums charts. It marked BTS's first appearance on the Billboard 200 chart, holding the position at number 171 for one week. Eight of the album's tracks also appeared on Billboard's World Digital Songs Sales Chart. BTS's youth trilogy came to a close with the release of their compilation album, The Most Beautiful Moment in Life, Young Forever. It was highly anticipated, with 300,000 copies pre-sold, and featured three new singles. The Most Beautiful Moment in Life, 
Young Forever was awarded Album of the Year at the Mellon Music Awards, and BTS embarked on their sold-out Asia tour extension, BTS Live The Most Beautiful Moment in Life on Stage, Epilogue. BTS's success continued with their second Japanese studio album, Youth, which sold over 44,000 copies on its first day and reached number one on the Oricon Daily Album Chart. The album was eventually certified gold in Japan, with sales exceeding 100,000. One month later, in October, BTS released their next studio album, Wings, which combined the themes of youth with temptation and adversity. The album and its tracks, including the single Blood, Sweat and Tears, immediately climbed the charts, topping music charts in 23 countries and setting a record for the best-selling album in Jane album chart history. Wings debuted at number 26 on the Billboard 200, making it the best week ever for a K-pop album in the US. Breaking records, setting new milestones, and winning over millions of fans that's just a typical day for BTS, the global K-pop sensation. With the release of their repackaged album You Never Walk Alone, BTS broke the record for the most albums sold in a month in South Korea. And the hits just kept coming as they embarked on their second world tour, playing to sold-out arenas across the United States. But that was just the beginning when BTS attended the 24th Billboard Music Awards, they made history by becoming the first K-pop group to win a Billboard Award. And with over 300 million votes from their dedicated fans, BTS shattered a six-year winning streak held by Justin Bieber, proving that the power of their fandom is unmatched. The world is taking notice of BTS, and it's not hard to see why with their infectious music, stunning performances, and unwavering passion, BTS is truly a force to be reckoned with. BTS took on society with their remake of Seo Taiji's Come Back Home. The message? Urging change. But they didn't stop there. BTS embarked on their Love Yourself album series, a journey of self-love through a narrative sequence. Their fifth EP, Love Yourself Her, pushed BTS to new ground with its lead single DNA, marking the start of a new chapter in their career. The EP was a mix of electropop and hip-hop, and a testament to BTS' ability to explore new grammar and perspectives. With BTS, there's always something to look forward to. BTS shattered records and dominated charts in 2017 with their album Love Yourself Her, debuting at number 7 on the Billboard 200 and selling over 1.6 million copies in just one month. Their hit single DNA made history as the first K-pop boy band song to reach the Billboard Hot 100, climbing to number 67 and becoming the highest charting K-pop song at the time. Not content with just one hit, BTS's mic drop featuring designer also broke records, becoming the first K-pop group to crack the top 40. Their success was not just limited to the US, as the group made waves in Japan with their album topping the Oricon chart and being certified double platinum, a first for any foreign artist that year. Not only were they taking the music industry by storm, to be honest, uh, I'm a little bit nervous to announce this next performance, but BTS also made history as the first K-pop group to perform at the American Music Awards and to win Artist of the Year at the 19th Net Asian Music Awards for the second consecutive year. The group also joined forces with UNICEF for their Love Myself campaign, promoting self-esteem and well-being among young people, and even pledged money towards the campaign. With their continued success and commitment to making a positive impact, it's no wonder why BTS has captured the hearts of millions of fans worldwide. In 2018, BTS took the world by storm with a string of impressive accomplishments. The K-pop sensation snagged major awards at the Golden Disc and Soul Music Awards, solidifying their status as global icons. Fans were then given a rare look behind the scenes with the release of an eight-episode documentary titled Burn the Stage, exclusively on YouTube Premium. And that's not all of their third Japanese studio album, Face Yourself, quickly climbed the charts, reaching the top five of the US iTunes albums chart. The BTS frenzy continued with the release of a nine-minute short film, Euphoria, theme of Love Yourself Wonder, 
which featured the hit song Euphoria and served as a prelude to their highly anticipated third Korean language studio album, Love Yourself Tear. The album, which explores the pains and sorrows of separation and the enlightenment of loving without being loved, coincided with the turn of the series, providing encouragement to those without dreams. But that's not all, BTS blew the audience away with a show-stopping performance of their hit single, Fake Love, at the 25th Billboard Music Awards, where they also won the prestigious Top Social Artist Award for a second consecutive year. It's safe to say that BTS is unstoppable and 2018 was just the beginning of their reign as kings of the music industry. <laughs> BTS breaks records yet again with their chart-topping album Love Yourself Tear, becoming the first K-pop album to ever debut at number one on the Billboard 200 and marking the group's first ever number one album in the US. Not stopping there, their single Fake Love becomes their first top 10 hit on the Hot 100, making history as the first non-English song to debut in the top 10. And just when you thought they couldn't get any bigger, BTS drops their compilation album Love Yourself Answer with the hit single Idol, featuring none other than Nicki Minaj, the global sensation continues to dominate the charts and capture hearts around the world. BTS Love Yourself Answer sets records with 1.9 million plus copies sold, second Billboard 200 number one, and platinum certifications for both the album and its hit single Idol. BTS Love Yourself World Tour was a sensation, with sold-out shows in 12 countries, including a historic performance at City Field in New York City as the first Korean act to perform at a U.S. stadium. The group also collaborated with Steve Aoki for their first all-English language feature and renewed their contract with Big Hit Entertainment through 2026. According to StubHub, BTS ranked second in best-selling concert acts outside the U.S., only behind Ed Sheeran. Now, there's no question that K-pop superstars BTS are one of the biggest names in world entertainment right now, but they're also at the center of a huge controversy. BTS faced controversy in November 2018 when a Japanese music show canceled their performance due to a member's shirt featuring a mushroom cloud after the bombing of Nagasaki, and the Simon Wiesenthal Center demanded an apology for Nazi symbolism on their clothing and flags. Despite Big Hit Entertainment's apology and explanation that the images were not intended to be hurtful, the incident revealed the group's independence and willingness to express their opinions, as noted by scholar John Lai. Ultimately, the apology was accepted by the Simon Wiesenthal Center and the Korean Atomic Bomb Victim Association. BTS takes the world by storm yet again, winning Artist of the Year at the 20th Net Asian Music Awards and ranking number 8 on Billboard's year-end top artist chart. The group also made it to the number two spot on the duo group ranking, just behind Imagine Dragons. Their efforts to address social issues, mental health, and politics in a genre typically dismissed as bubblegum pop earned them a spot on Bloomberg's list of the 50 most influential people. BTS broke records and made history in 2019 with their EP, Map of the Soul, Persona. Not only did they become the first K-pop act to perform on Saturday Night Live, but they also became the first Korean language album to reach the number one spot in both the UK and Australia. The album also became the best-selling album in South Korea with over 3.2 million physical copies sold in under a month. And if that wasn't enough, their single Boy With Love debuted at number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100, making it the highest placement ever for a K-pop song. All this, and they were named one of Time's 100 Most Influential People of 2019 and presented at the Grammy Awards for the first time. BTS dominated the music scene in 2019 with their world tour, Love Yourself, Speak Yourself, which sold out within hours of tickets going on sale. Adding more shows to keep up with the demand, the group continued to break records, including becoming the first foreign artist since Celine Dion to sell over 1 million copies of their single Lights in Japan. Their music also reached new heights with the release of the BTS World Mobile Game and its accompanying soundtrack, which earned double platinum certification. With collaborations featuring Charlie XCX, Zara Larson, and Juice World, BTS proved once again that they are not only influential, but also trendsetters in the music industry. 
BTS sets a new record as their Love Yourself series sells over 2 million copies each in South Korea. Love Yourself, Her and Love Yourself, Tear both crossed the 2 million mark in August, joining Love Yourself, Answer in the exclusive club. The group also gained silver certification by the BPI for sales in the UK, marking the third time a BTS album achieved such an honor. With their record-breaking Love Yourself, Speak Yourself World Tour, BTS played Seoul's Olympic Stadium for their final stop, securing their place as the third top-grossing touring musical act of 2019. Not to mention, the group took home three awards at the 2019 American Music Awards, including Best Tour and Favorite Social Artist for the second year in a row. They're the K-pop sensation that's taking the world by storm, and in December, they made history not once, but twice, by sweeping the four major awards at both the 2019 Melon Music Awards and 2019 Net Asian Music Awards, becoming the first group ever to do so. But that's not all, at the 34th Golden Disc Awards, they shattered records again, becoming the first artists in history to win grand prizes in both the physical and digital categories in a single year. Their album, Map of the Soul, Persona, was a massive hit and named the second best-selling physical album of 2019 in the US, only trailing behind Taylor Swift's Lover. It also ranked sixth overall on the chart of top 10 albums in the US. And if that wasn't enough, they ended the year as the fourth highest ranked group on Billboard's top Billboard 200 Artists duo group ranking, right behind legendary bands Queen, Imagine Dragons, and The Beatles. But the accolades didn't stop there BTS was named as the third best-selling album of 2019 by the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry, making them the first Korean artist to be listed on the global top 10 album chart in consecutive years. And to top it all off, the IFPI named BTS as one of the best-selling artists of 2019 for a second consecutive year, cementing their place as the first non-English speaking act to achieve this incredible feat it's safe to say that BTS is not just a band, they're a phenomenon that's breaking barriers and changing the game. In 2020, BTS shattered records and made history at every turn. With the release of Black Swan, the first single from their album Map of the Soul 7, the K-pop sensations left fans worldwide in awe. The accompanying art film, performed by MN Dance Company of Slovenia, was a stunning visual masterpiece that set the stage for what was to come. And boy, did BTS deliver. Dreamus reported a record-breaking 4.02 million stock pre-orders for the album, which received rave reviews upon its release. But that's just the beginning. BTS went on to make history at the 62nd Annual Grammy Awards, becoming the first Korean act to perform at the prestigious event. Their album Map of the Soul 7 debuted atop the US Billboard 200, making BTS the fastest group to earn for number one albums since The Beatles in 1966 to 1968. On, the album's single, made waves on the Billboard Hot 100, debuting at number 4 and giving BTS its first top 5 hit. Not only that, but it also earned the group the most Hot 100 top 10 entries of any Korean act with 3. But the success didn't stop there. Map of the Soul 7 sold over 4.1 million copies in just 9 days after its release, surpassing Map of the Soul Persona to become the best-selling album in South Korean history and the first album to be certified quadruple million. BTS had planned to support the Map of the Soul album series with a concert series, the Map of the Soul tour, but sadly, it was indefinitely postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite the setback, BTS continued to captivate fans around the world with their talent, passion, and undeniable star power. It's safe to say that 2020 was truly the year of BTS. BTS continues to break records and make history in the music industry. In April 2020, they became the best-selling artist in South Korean history, with over 20 million albums sold worldwide. Amidst the pandemic restrictions, the group held a two-day online concert event titled Bang Bang Con, where they shared footage of past concerts, and later headlined YouTube's Dear Class of 2020 online graduation event. Their inspiring speeches and powerful performances left audiences feeling hopeful and motivated. 
The group celebrated their seventh anniversary with a record-breaking online concert, Bang Bang Con, The Live, attracting over 756,000 live viewers in 107 countries and territories, making it the largest audience for a paid virtual concert. BTS continued to impress with the release of their Japanese single, Stay Gold, and their fourth Japanese album, Map of the Soul 7. The journey, which broke the record for highest first-week album sales by male foreign artists in Japan with over 564,000 copies sold in the first week. K-pop superstars BTS proved they were a global force to be reckoned with when they dropped their first English-language single, Dynamite, on August 21. The catchy track quickly climbed its way to the top of the US Billboard Hot 100 chart, making history as the first all-South Korean act to achieve a number one single in the US. But that's not all Dynamite also dominated the newly introduced Global 200 chart, topping both the US and Global excluding US charts simultaneously. As if that wasn't impressive enough, the single also landed at number 5 on the US mainstream Top 40 and the Billboard Pop Singles chart, smashing records and becoming BTS's first Top 10 entry on each. The septet's talent didn't go unnoticed at the MTV Video Music Awards VMAs, where they won four awards, including Best Group and Best K-Pop. And just when you thought they couldn't achieve more, BTS performed Dynamite at the 2020 Billboard Music Awards and won the Top Social Artist Award for the fourth year in a row. In 2020, BTS dominated the music scene, breaking records and making history left and right. Their remix of Savage Love, Laxed, Siren Beat, climbed the charts and topped the Hot 100. Their virtual pay-per-view concert, Map of the Soul on E!, attracted nearly a million viewers from 191 countries and territories. And their fifth Korean studio album, B, debuted with the single Life Goes On which made history as the first song primarily in Korean to hit number one on the Hot 100 chart. <laughs> But that's not all, BTS also made history by receiving their first ever Grammy nomination and winning the Special International Music Award at the Japan Record Awards. Korean culture had a breakout year in 2020, with BTS leading the way and taking the world by storm. Breaking records and making history seemed to be second nature for BTS. In 2020, they became the first Asian and non-English speaking act to be named the Global Recording Artist of the Year by the IFPI. The group dominated the global album sales chart, claiming three of the top spots with Map of the Soul 7 at number 1, B, Deluxe Edition, at number 2, and Map of the Soul 7, The Journey at number 8. And if that wasn't enough, they also claimed the top spot on the newly launched global album all-format chart. BTS made another historic appearance at the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards, where they became the first Korean nominee to perform on stage. The group also released Film Out, the first single from their upcoming Japanese compilation album, BTS, The Best. Plus, they hosted a two-day online streaming event titled Bang Bang Con 21, where they aired three of their previous in-person concerts. <laughs> BTS continues to dominate the music industry with their chart-topping hits. Their second English-language single, Butter, debuted at number one on the Hot 100, marking their fourth number one in just nine months. Not only did this achievement make them the fastest group to achieve for chart toppers since the Jackson 5 in 1970, but it also extended their record as the group with the most number one entries on the Digital Songs chart. Their next English language single, Permission to Dance, also topped the charts, making it their eighth number one on the Digital Songs chart. And let's not forget their collaboration with Coldplay, My Universe, which debuted at number one on the Hot 100, making history as the first collaboration between two groups to debut at number one. BTS also held a sold-out online concert titled Permission to Dance on Stage and played four sold-out shows at SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles as a continuation of their concert series. Plus, Butter earned a Grammy nomination for Best Pop Duo Group Performance at the 64th Annual Grammy Awards. It's safe to say BTS isn't slowing down anytime soon. BTS continues to break records and defy expectations in the entertainment industry.
In January 2022, a fictional webtoon based on the band, Seven Fates Chaco, took the world by storm, surpassing 15 million views globally in just two days and becoming the highest viewed title ever launched by webtoon. The band followed up this success with a triumphant return to the stage, holding three limited capacity concerts at Seoul Olympic Stadium, with a total audience of 45,000 people, the largest music gatherings approved by the South Korean government since the pandemic restrictions were imposed. Not content with just wowing fans in their home country, BTS made their mark on the international stage once again, performing Butter at the 64th Annual Grammy Awards and earning seven nominations at the 2022 Billboard Music Awards, ultimately taking home three awards and cementing their place as the most nominated and most awarded group in the show's history. BTS sent shockwaves through their fan base and the music industry alike when they announced a temporary suspension of group activities on their ninth anniversary. However, the group's management company quickly clarified that they were neither disbanding nor going on hiatus, but rather focusing on individual projects with full support from the label. The announcement caused a $1.7 billion drop in Hive Corporation's stock value. Nonetheless, fans were thrilled to learn that BTS would be performing in Busan on for a benefit concert supporting the city's World Exposition bid. It seems the band's legacy is still yet to come. The fate of BTS continues to be a hot topic as the possibility of mandatory military enlistment looms over the band members. Market speculation about the group's potential breakup has sent Hive Corporation's stock prices tumbling below its original IPO. Despite a successful benefit concert held in October 2022, Bloomberg News reports that there are no further concert dates scheduled. The potential loss to Hive Corporation could reach nearly $10 billion US dollar over a decade with the South Korean economy potentially losing nearly 39 billion US dollars. Will BTS overcome this obstacle and stay together, or will they face an uncertain future? Only time will tell. BTS fans were left devastated when the band's oldest member, Jean, confirmed his military enlistment and announced he would be withdrawing his deferral request. The remaining members are expected to follow suit and fulfill their mandatory military service obligations, with a reunion planned for 2025. Nevertheless, the band continued to rake in accolades and nominations, with BTS receiving multiple nods for the 2022 MAMA Awards and the 65th Annual Grammy Awards. Despite the uncertainty surrounding the group's future, their loyal fans were thrilled with the announcement of the theatrical release of their concert film, yet to come, in February 2023. Get ready to discover the musical inspirations behind one of the biggest boy bands in the world. BTS has cited a diverse range of artists as their musical influences, including Nas, Eminem, Kanye West, and Drake, as well as pop sensations Post Malone and Charlie Puth. But that's not all. The band has also expressed admiration for the legendary rock band Queen, with Jean leading the crowd in a Freddie Mercury-inspired chant during their concert at London's Wembley Stadium. And it's not just Western music that has inspired BTS, their song Hip Hop File pays tribute to South Korean group Epic High, Jay-Z, Biggie, CL Smooth, and more. With such a wide range of influences, it's no wonder BTS has taken the music world by storm. BTS draws inspiration from the works of literary giants and artists, and their music is a beautiful amalgamation of it all. Their 2016 album Wings was inspired by Hermann Hesse's iconic coming-of-age novel, Damien. With their song Blood, Sweat and Tears, they quote Nietzsche's Thus Spoke Zarathustra and reference works of art such as Peter Bruegel's Landscape with the Fall of Icarus and Herbert James Draper's The Lament for Icarus. They've also been influenced by literary giants such as Haruki Murakami, Ursula K. Le Guin, Carl Jung, George Orwell, and Nietzsche. The Love Yourself series was inspired by Eric from The Art of Loving, and their 2018 song Magic Shop from Love Yourself, Tear was influenced by James R. Doty's memoir Into the Magic Shop. From their very beginning, BTS has been rooted in hip-hop, a genre that was heavily influenced by their underground rapping members RM and Suga, who received mentorship from American rappers during their early days in the US. The group's producer, Bang Si-hyuk, 
acknowledged K-pop's reliance on black music, while author Crystal S. Anderson identified BTS's rising popularity in the US as a continuation of K-pop's contribution to the global R&B tradition. According to Vulture's TK Park and Hyundai Kim, The Love Yourself, her track outro, her best exemplifies BTS's understanding of old-school hip-hop, with raps inspired by Chuck D and Tupac and jazzy chords from the 1990s that create a classic hip-hop sound. From hip-hop to pop sensation, how BTS blood sweat and tears marked a turning point for the group. Combining dancehall, reggaeton, and mumbatin, the track added a baroque mysticism to its influences, according to experts. Since then, the group has continued to evolve by incorporating traditional Korean elements into their music, such as the use of panzori ad-libs and vocal imitations of Korean Jenga drums in their 2018 single Idol. BTS is not afraid to push boundaries and experiment with new sounds, which is why they continue to captivate fans worldwide. BTS discography is more than just catchy tunes and slick dance moves, their music is a platform for exploring the issues and struggles of today's youth. From South Korea's rigid education system to economic difficulties and societal ills, the group's early songs like No More Dream and End called for change and spoke out against generational disparity. Their label dubbed the most beautiful moment in life, Young Forever, the conclusion to their youth trilogy, a special album that marks the conclusion of the epic journey of the series. Wings focused on mental health and criticisms of the K-pop idol scene, while the Love Yourself series delved into themes of love, farewell, and self-love. BTS music isn't just entertainment it's a reflection of the realities of youth culture. BTS is not afraid to tackle difficult subjects in their music, including politics, mental health, and societal issues. Their song Am I Wrong from Wings challenged the status quo and societal apathy towards change, while Not Today from You Never Walk Alone became an anti-establishment anthem for underdogs fighting against the odds. RM and Suga's struggles with mental health have also influenced their music, inspiring honest lyrics that speak to fans on a personal level. Even in a conservative society, BTS is praised for their honesty and willingness to speak out about important issues. As former South Korean President Moon Jae-in said, their melody and lyrics transcend regional borders, language, culture, and institutions. BTS has been making waves in the music industry, and their impact cannot be ignored. Time magazine recognized their influence by naming them one of the 100 most influential people of the year, labeling them the princes of pop. Billboard executive Silvio Pietro Luongo compared their influence to that of the Beatles. BTS has become mainstream and appeals to all age groups, not just young people. They were the first non-English speaking artist to make the Global Artist Chart in 2018, and were the second best-selling artists worldwide across multiple media platforms, coming in second only to Drake. K-pop superstars BTS scooped the 2020 Global Recording Artist of the Year Award from In 2020, they became the first non-Western and non-English speaking artist to be named IFPI's Global Recording Artist of the Year. In South Korea, BTS accounted for 41.9% of album sales in the first half of 2019, up from their market share of 25.3% the previous year. BTS is more than just a pop group, they're a global cultural phenomenon. Dubbed the Princes of Pop by Time magazine, the Korean septet has been likened to the Beatles by Billboard's Silvio Pietro Luongo. With their unparalleled influence, BTS has helped spread Korean culture worldwide, in a way not seen since the Korean rapper Sice Gangnam Style took the world by storm. According to the Bank of Korea, BTS alone adds about 5 billion US dollars annually to South Korea's economy, thanks to a ripple effect that includes everything from increased tourism to interest in Korean language and culture. It's no wonder that a study revealed that 800,000 foreigners visit South Korea each year for BTS-related reasons. Move Over Girls Generation, Super Junior, EXO, TWICE, and BLACKPINK, BTS has been dubbed the leader among highly influential K-pop groups. Their success shows the power of a strong, active fanbase in the age of social media, where fan campaigning can be just as important as musical quality to a song's success. But it's not just about their music, the group is also making waves on the business side of the K-pop industry, 
pursuing less restrictive contracts with their management company to maximize their artistic originality and creativity. With this groundbreaking approach to career management, BTS has become a beacon for South Korean youth, encouraging individuality and authenticity among their audience. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General. BTS has not only conquered the music industry but also made an impact in international relations, as political scientist Joseph Nye's concept of soft power has been applied to the group's influence. According to Nye, the ability to get other countries to want what a country wants is called co-optive or soft power, and BTS has utilized this power to spread their message of harmony and acceptance worldwide. Experts like Maude Quessard have noted the group's broad appeal across cultures and political values, making them a powerful force in entertainment diplomacy. BTS is not just a musical sensation, but also a global phenomenon with a significant impact on international relations. BTS, the global phenomenon and K-pop superstars, have been recognized and celebrated by world leaders and organizations for their significant contributions to entertainment, diplomacy, and international relations. They were invited to address the United Nations General Assembly, performed before President Moon Jae-in and 400 officials at the Korea-France Friendship Concert, and were awarded the Order of Cultural Merit, the youngest recipients ever. Their innovative business models and direct communication with fans have also been praised by Moon, and they received the James A. Van Fleet Award for promoting U.S.-Korea relations. Recently, BTS was appointed Special Presidential Envoy for Future Generations and Culture by President Moon and even visited U.S. President Joe Biden at the White House to discuss important issues like anti-Asian hate crimes and discrimination. BTS has become a powerful force in the entertainment industry and in promoting global agendas such as sustainable development, earning their place as influential leaders and envoys for future generations. BTS' skyrocketing success was attributed to a surge in music video consumption on YouTube and the expansion of online music fandom, facilitated by an idol empire that encompasses not only music but also merchandise, games, and fantasy fiction. At the heart of this empire is BTS' online community of fans, known as ARMY, which boasts a staggering 40 million subscribers on the band's YouTube channel, and over 30 million followers on their official Twitter and Instagram accounts. The highly organized and passionate ARMY has helped the group achieve number one chart rankings through coordinated streaming campaigns and successful pushes for radio and television features. In fact, some members of the ARMY community may even wield more influence than the group itself among BTS fans. BTS has always had a strong connection with their fans, engaging with them on social media and even creating an alternate universe where their music videos, games, books, and short films allow fans to theorize and dive deeper into their world. The group's humble beginnings and social values have made them underdogs that their young fans can identify with. Their message of making the world a better place has inspired the fandom to take action and embrace activism on various socio-political issues, from refugee crises to racial discrimination to global warming. In fact, feedback from their army has impacted the group's actions and lyrics, leading to the elimination of certain Korean words that sound like American racial slurs from their songs and the ending of a collaboration with a Japanese producer deemed extreme by Korean army members. The relationship between BTS and their fans, known as ARMY, is more than just a one-sided idolization. According to South Korean author Ji Young Lee, it's a mutual exchange of positivity that extends beyond the band's music. The bond between BTS and ARMY is a symbol of a changing cultural landscape, where the youth are politically and socially engaged, and their influence is felt globally. The band members themselves credit their fans for their success, recognizing the crucial role that ARMY plays in their rise to stardom. As Sarah Keith explains, BTS embodies a moment of transformation, where cultural production and influence are meaningful and impactful. BTS isn't just taking over the music industry, they're also dominating the world of brand endorsements. Puma, Fila, LG Electronics, Hyundai Motors, Samsung Electronics, Dior, and Louis Vuitton are just a few of the major brands that have teamed up with the K-pop superstars. As ambassadors for Puma, BTS expanded their partnership from promoting sportswear in Korea to becoming global ambassadors. 
They also endorsed Fila's sportswear, LG's smartphones, and Hyundai's flagship SUVs. Not only that, but they're also global ambassadors for Formula E, promoting electric vehicles and their positive impact on the environment. BTS even collaborated with Dior, donning ensembles from the designer's pre-fall 2019 collection during their concert at Stade de France. And in April 2021, they were named global brand ambassadors for Louis Vuitton. With these endorsements, it's clear that BTS isn't just a musical sensation, they're also a marketing powerhouse. As the curtains draw to a close on this BTS documentary, it's clear that the seven members of the group have overcome countless obstacles and achieved unprecedented success. From humble beginnings in South Korea to global domination, their journey has been nothing short of remarkable. But beyond the chart-topping hits, record-breaking albums, and sold-out stadium tours, what truly sets BTS apart is their unwavering dedication to their fans, their message of self-love, and their commitment to using their platform for positive change. Through their music, their artistry, and their activism, BTS has become a symbol of hope and inspiration for millions around the world. And as they continue to break down barriers and challenge norms, there's no doubt that they will leave an indelible mark on the music industry and beyond. So to the BTS ARMY and all those who have been touched by their music and message, let this documentary serve as a reminder that anything is possible with hard work, perseverance, and a whole lot of love. As BTS themselves would say, life goes on, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for this incredible group. And also if you want to know how the world's biggest Korean girl group Blackpink rose to fame then watch the rise of Blackpink documentary on the screen next.